Hey, Sneaky Linux back tonight, and tonight we're going to have a look at PC Linux OS 2009.2. That's the latest release. Now, I do always like PC Linux, it's very nice, and this has not disappointed me one little bit, really. So, we're going to have a look around for you. Nice desktop, nice and smooth, relaxing even. So, that's cool. So, I like it. So, menu you got all the gubbins there that you normally have. Applications, internet, blah, 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 blah. Lots and lots to see and do. There's loads of software on this CD, by the way. Lots and lots of compressed software. And down here, we've got our little icons, package manager, etc, etc, and Firefox. Now, I was hoping that it was going to be Firefox 3.5, but it ain't, but never mind. Comes up nice and quick. First page takes you directly to them. And it tells you all about PC Linux OS, which it would do. And I'm going on the shortcut bars here. I mean, we've got a couple of extra ones here. So this one here is My PC Linux OS. Now, this basically takes you to the page where it's uh, community driven stuff. So if I scroll down, you'll see what I mean. Scroll down, scroll down. There's a good boy. And it tells you all about the stuff that the community is doing, which is quite a lot at the moment. It's actually changed quite a lot since the last time I've been here. And you can also download, in PDF format, the PC Linux OS magazine. Here's the page. Click to download it. It's in PDF. I've read it. It's quite interesting, actually. So even if you don't download the ISO, get the magazine and see what you think. Let me know, which would be rather good. So next up here, we're going to go to help, just to make sure what version of a Firefox we are running. It's 3.11 basically, or 11. Pete ain't 3.5, but hey, you can't have everything, can you? You like everything, but you're not going to get it. So anyway, we're going to go to the App Store, which is here. And Blake, basically it's just a, a click to download thing. So you've got the Opera Unite web browser client. iTunes. <clears throat> yes, okay, but it plays all formats, so that's good. Bluefish I've used before, that's cool. Composer I've used before, very good. And it's just a click to install thing. And Dialo's here, ain't used that for a while, but hey, it's still there for you to use. Epiphany, not used Epiphany for a while, or Epiphany even, should I say. And Firefox, which is already on here. Flock I've not used at all, so anybody out there has, let me know and we'll have a boogie. So there's the App Store. So that was quite interesting. That's enough of the Fox. So next we're going to go to the Package Manager. It's the same as it always was. Ask me for the password. That's what we like. We pop the password in. And it basically takes us to their Package Manager. Synaptic, basically. I've already reloaded it. So all the apps are there that I can have, or not have even, shall we say. And as you can see from Abbey Word, there's loads and loads of plugins, enormous amounts. But you can get OpenOffice anyway if you wanted to. So, a bit of an option there for you. The version I've got here is KDE only. There is a GNOME version as well, if you like GNOME. Uh, in the next lot of updates, we're going to get KDE 4.2, which will be interesting. So, put in my password here. And we're going to go do a bit of configuring at the control centre. And here you get all the options to configure your system, basically. So, configure web browser, remote control, VNC, all your sound, 3D effects, printer works. Couldn't believe that one. That was a good one. So, if you haven't drawn with printers, this should do it. You can configure your network and internet connections. If you've used this before, you know it's all here. It just looks a little bit different, a bit more new, shall we say. Systems there loads and loads for you to see. I'm trying to keep this video quite short so I won't go into anything but I've got network local disk and boot. So we're going to come out of him and we're going to show you something else because time is going on. We're going to go to the control centre. Basically it's just a KDE control centre which is on a lot of other systems as you know. But like, we'll open him up. You can change backgrounds, splash screens, style, themes. There's loads of configuring you can do if you want to. You can also get new wallpapers if you want to. I haven't done this just yet on this one because I'm still just getting to know it myself and it only comes with that one but you can actually set a different wallpaper for every desktop which I like very much. We'll scroll down a bit here. <coughs> not much depth for you to see really. Might come back to that in a minute. Might not. We'll see shall we. 
let's go and have a look at something else. Well, let's just have a little rundown here. For your chat client, you've got XChat. A file transfer, you've got four options one being Frostwire and KTorrent. Copet for Instant Messenger. Yeah, it's okay, I don't mind it. Mail is Thunderbird. News got three options, but there's Thunderbird Mail as well there. Remote access, loads of options. Web browsers. We also get Conqueror. Now I've not used Conqueror for about four, four, five years, and that was on Canopix three or four many moons ago anyway. It's a nice little browser. But hey, I've just not seen it really soon. Really. Not much about. People don't really use it that much anymore, or I may be wrong. I'm going to control center up again. As we're getting near the end now. Oh, this is the bit I wanted to show you right down the bottom. If you've got a Sony Vario a laptop, it comes with all the stuff for that. So you get the battery power, etc, etc. Nice little add-on. But as I'm not using it on a Sony, no good to me, is it really? But hey, it's there if you want it. You get to Sam Multimedia, you can change all these things on the system. It's really, really configurable. If you like the look of it, I'd go and download it because it, you can just use it out of the box. You ain't really got to do much to it whatsoever, to be really honest with you. Everything already works. I didn't ha I didn't have to get the uh, flash for this either, which unusually I was quite surprised. The HP fax works, I know. First time ever for me, got it to work. That's cool. Lovely jumbling. Publishing, got two there. Word process is your Abbey word. We go to system. I mean, look at all these options here. There's an enormous, enormous amount of options. K3B for your burning. Oh, I love that one. One of my faves. I think it's arc for archiving. Yep. The configuration is just like the control center, really. But as you can see, you can get it from this center as well. And if you click that get Open Office down there, it'll download Open Office for you too. Lovely. Look at all them options. Look. This, this is all the stuff on a simple CD. It's not a DVD, it's just a CD. It's just highly compressed stuff. So that's cool. Development, you get a Java tool here for the console. Help Center, editors, games. Comes with loads of games. Loads and loads. You know you're normally going to get 8 or 9, don't you? I think there must be about 20, 30 on here. Easy, easy. So that's what I'm saying to you. You can actually just install it. And you don't have to do much to it, really. It's all done for you. So that's why I like it really. I've always liked it, but the last one was a bit iffy for me and I wasn't too happy with it and so I left it alone for a while. But now I've come back and it's come back to me like an old friend. Anyway, download it. Tell me what you think. Sneaky Linux going out to play. Bye bye.